beautifuls, this is Rami here, and welcome back, well, not welcome back, actually, welcome to Seduce Me 2, uh, sequel of uh, Seduce Me, original one, except this one's about the Demon War, which is a continuation of last season, this is a demo though, so it's not like the full game. I believe the full game is going to be out probably around next year once everything is resolved with the Kickstarter and everything. I do have a Kickstarter, so I will. <laughs> I could click right here, but I'll link it down below because there's a link to download this game. I um, actually didn't know Seduce Me 2 had a demo out uh, until someone commented on my videos like, hey, Romy, you should go try to play Seduce Me 2. It's released. So uh, I'm doing that right now um there are the, the different routes i don't know how long these demos are but it appears to be long based on the youtube videos that have been out already uh, i'm a little late behind this because i've been so busy but we are gonna go with damien because i played him first and he is my absolute favorite I told him I had no regrets. I told Damien that I did not regret for one second that I made a deal with Diana to make him human. I stood steadfast and knew what I was doing. But I still didn't like the choice I had made. What? <laughs> Something in my gut didn't feel right about what I did to Damien. Yes, I knew that Diana would have raped would have, wouldn't have raped him. But what if she had? What if I gave her permission to do so and I didn't know it? What if he didn't want to go through with it, and Diana really did sleep with him anyway? I was mortified at the choice, but I had just wanted him to be happy. Every time he said my name made me feel so happy. Every time he held me or kissed me was a moment I carved into my memories forever to cherish. I loved him and wanted him to be truly happy. Damon reassured me that Diana didn't do anything to him, but... I could not help but imagine it and even dream of it. I kind of forgot what happened about the, uh, Diana. Damien, until <laughs> recently. Um, I believe this game is rated a little higher than it was last time because of, uh, certain scenes. Not quite sure about that, but I, I have a feeling it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, bastard son. Do you truly wish to become human? You know very well that I am capable of making that happen. I will not betray her trust. What she doesn't know won't hurt her. Besides, don't you want to be human so you can be with her and not put her in any danger? Stop it! I couldn't stop... Ugh, oh god. I couldn't stop illusions of what Diana and Damon could have done before. From appearing in my dreams, like a scene doomed to repeat over and over. Diana, shrouded in my sh in shadow, would loom over Damien and show herself as the evil woman she truly was. Damien, however, would struggle, fight to get away from her. I didn't want to see this, but I was forced to watch the scene play out. Stop it! What makes you think you're in a position to say no to me? I won't do it, Diana! You can't make me do this! Oh, can't I? Your precious little human isn't here to save you. Is this a dream, or...? I tried to scream, to protest and prove Diana wrong, but I knew that I wasn't there. I was merely a bystander to a dream I could not stop. Okay, it is a dream. I was forced to witness Diana chaining Damien up... What? <laughs> to a black bed, touching him in the... <laughs> the most sensual but unwanted ways possible. Her nails and tongue running along his skin made both him and me flinch and whimper in disgust. I, I'm feeling the same way just reading that out loud. Stop it! What? Are you not enjoying yourself? You're an incubus. And even more than that, a man. Surely you can enjoy this treat in exchange for your precious humanity. Gosh. This was wrong. This was sick and beyond wrong. I felt like I was outside the small bubble Damien and Diana were in, and I was beating against the wall, trying to get in and stop her, but I couldn't break through. Each movement Diana made grew more and more sexual, like a predator playing with its prey. 
Damon struggled, thrashing about and fighting back against chains that held him down, trying to break free. I prayed that he would. I screamed and hoped that he would be released from this. However, Diana glared and snapped her fingers, forcing him to gasp and his eyes to glow gold. He began to quake, as if he was dying and starved like an animal, and glared angry daggers at Diana, who only laughed. What sent deadly shivers down my spine was Diana looking over at me, as if she knew I was watching. Remember, dear, you made this decision. I, I wouldn't want to watch, honestly, though. Diana chuckled before leaning close to Damien's face, licking over his mouth and straddle, straddling, straddling, wrong word, straddling his hips. <sighs> I don't appreciate. She was a cute little diversion, but now it's time to have some real fun. Um, as Damien began to scream, I suddenly awoke from my nightmare, mentally unable to take being trapped inside of it anymore. Huh? Oh, and the art style has changed with them. <laughs> Beside me, I heard and felt Damien rise out of bed in response to me waking. I looked over at him, seeing him quickly rub his eyes and look at me with worry. Hey, what's wrong? No. <laughs> I knew he couldn't read my mind anymore, so he wouldn't have known, the <laughs> known what I had seen. I still couldn't help but need to embrace him from the dream I had. Grabbing Damien's arm gently, I began to whimper. Huh? Hey. Come here. This is so cute. <laughs> I really did miss like voice acting in visual novels that are in English. Damien gently wrapped his arm around my form and hugged me to him, petting my back. I let out a weak meal, shutting my eyes and trying not to cry. Damien gently kissed over my head, trying to calm me down. Everything's okay. It was just a nightmare. I'm right here. His voice helped me slowly start to relax, knowing that what he said was true. It was a nightmare, not real. I couldn't shake all of the sadness, all of the sadness from my mind, but I calmed down enough to not let it control me anymore. Damien gently rocked me, his arms wrapped around my body lovingly as he softly whispered my name. My mind simply melted into a peaceful hum. All right, I gotta change my name. You know, did I play with this name or did I play with Romy? You know what, it's gonna be this name right now. <laughs> Everything was okay now. Everything was fine. I looked up at Damien and rubbed my eyes as he loosened his embrace around me. Yeah, now what? I'm not gonna make a voice for it because it's, <laughs> it's a demo and I'm, I'm kind of lazy right now. So, I'm sorry. I just, I just can't stop thinking about the deal I made with Diana. I told you before that it was fine. Honestly, it's nothing to worry about. <sighs> but I worry a lot, so... Damien gently kissed my forehead before, before, before pressing his to mine. Nuzzling me softly, he stared deep into my eyes with a loving smile. One that made my heart ooze in happiness despite my worry. I cannot be any happier than I am now. I'm marrying the woman of my dreams as a human. An actual human. I owe everything to you. Damien. I rubbed my nose against Damien's, closing my eyes and wrapping my arms around his neck. I knew he was being sincere and was truly happy. I had to get over my fears and deal with it. He was hu he was human now, and we were going to be married soon. Oh, <laughs> we're getting married? My heart truly couldn't believe it. I was going to marry. I was going to marry to Damien. I would live happily ever after, together. It was good. I almost couldn't believe the truth of it. However, I was always reminded of the reality of it every time Damien held me in his arms. Damien smiled before kissing my head and patting the bed neck, bed, neck. What? Bed behind me. Come on, let's go back to sleep. I'll be right here if another nightmare appears. I nodded and slowly fell back onto the mattress, cuddling up to Damien as he laid beside me. If the nightmare came back, Damien would be in my arms, reminding me it was all fake and just my imagination. Everything would be alright. The night quickly passed by and the morning sun peeked through my window, window drapes and landed perfectly over my eyes, waking me up. I stretched and yawned, not wanting to get up just yet. 
However, the emptiness of the bed next to me made me open my eyes wide, finding no Damien beside me. Damien? I sat up and looked around the room after rubbing the sleep from my eyes. Damien was nowhere in the room, which confused me. Where was he? Maybe in the kitchen? In the bathroom? Oh, good morning. I looked over at the door to see Damien holding a tray of holding a tray of breakfast with two plates full of delicious food and a vase beside my breakfast plate and a vase beside my breakfast place plate plate were two beautifully bloomed white roses which made a soft smile grow on my face morning is that for us <laughs> yeah i figured why not have breakfast in bed no oh, it's too cute <laughs> i was gonna say sweet but i said cute because i'm so used to saying cute for all the things you're so sweet. Thank you. Damien smiled and sat beside me. Oh, new music. Placing the tray over both of our laps, the smell was practically intoxicating in the best ways possible. Before we began to eat, however, Damien picked up the TV remote from the nightstand beside him. James's big toy reveal is today. Do you mind if we watch it? Oh, sure. I mean, <laughs> I shook my head eager to see it as well. James had became the CEO of the Anderson Toy Company, so I was curious to see how he was doing, how the company was holding up. Apparently, it was rising higher and higher up the top business rankings, and soon had become one of, became the one of, the top 500 businesses internationally. I was proud of James, but I was more happy to see that Damien seemed to be his number one fan. He was always giddy whenever he talked about all of his brother's accomplishments. It was adorable. Damien grinned before turning on the TV and changed the channel to the local news station. It was one of the best news stations out there and I was not being biased. Anyone who claimed to love Chicago knew it. Alright, so here we have an interesting story to tell. The Anderson Toys Company, an internationally famous toy business, has just recently announced a new line of toys in development. According to the CEO, the line is said to focus on fantasy. Let's take a look at the public announcement. I am more than happy to show off our new line, Fantasy Kingdom, for you all this morning. These toys will not only provide friendship and fun for children around the world, but will help inspire imaginations and let creative minds grow. What? Empowering speech? I cannot help but squirt when I saw it, see what I saw on the TV. All lined up in a row were our adorable cartoon-like stuffed fantasy dolls, glimmering in the broadcasting lights of the, of the TV station. There were knights, royalty, and creatures of all kinds, some not even truly fantasy. Damien, however, laughed quietly at the sight. Huh? What? They are really cute! They are! Only a couple of them are real, though. No? Huh? huh? Really? My jaw dropped. Some of the creatures that were represented were actually real. I knew demons and devils existed, but there were more than them. My mind began to imagine all of the creatures on the screen being potentially real. They even nodded and pointed to the TV. Vampires are real, but they don't look like that. They look like humans. <laughs> no way. I could not believe it. There was no way vampires existed. Damien, however, nodded with a reassuring grin. I promise it's true. Werewolves used to exist too, though they were killed off by the vampires long ago. Hmm, let's see. I looked to the TV to see the vampire doll and werewolf plush sitting next to each other, being simply cute and stereotypically <laughs> stereotypical of what most people imagine them to look like. Damien then pointed to the screen again. There, the angel toy? Angels are real too, only they don't look like that. I looked over to see a beautiful gold-haired doll of an angel. They really didn't look like that. I tilted my head at Damien. How do they look if they're not like that? Well, they look... um... Damien rubbed his chin unsure of how to reply. I could tell he was being serious and wasn't lying about them looking different. But they seemed to be hard to describe. Damien then shook his head. They look like old statues. It's really hard to say without drawing it out or something. Are they, like, gray and what? I really wasn't in the mood to get up and grab paper and, pe paper and a pencil, so I shrugged. 
I let go for the moment. Damien and I look back to the TV, seeing the entire line pass by a camera, showing what toys were available. Huh. I'm surprised they didn't make a demon toy, like a cat girl or something. I don't think many people would understand it. Though it would be cool to have a demon doll. Yeah, I don't think a lot of kids would buy it, because demon are seen as bad. I guess you're right. They are for kids, after all. I looked at Damon as he became absorbed in the line of toys. I couldn't help but smile at how intrigued he was. It made me curious. Hey, Damien, did you ever have a toy did you ever have toys as a kid? Damon looked at me in a surpri in surprise, before shaking his head with a slight grimace. No, I didn't. Matthew made some for me sometimes, but they were always taken away. No. I frowned. I was sorry for asking, but Damon shook his head again and smiled. However, when we came to the human world, I actually got one. It was a stuffed kitten. I didn't do anything, but it was fluffy and cute. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a stuffed bear. Not <laughs> I didn't expect a kitty. Damon rubbed the back of his head in embarrassment. Must be dumb, huh? A grown man with a cute toy like that? That's totally fine. That's, that's cool. I don't mind. No way, it's cute. <laughs> Damien stared in shock at, at me, but I was being serious. It didn't matter that Damien was a man. Cute toys were cute for a reason, and it was okay to think so. <laughs> Having cute toys is not a bad thing at all. That's what some toys are meant to be, cute. It doesn't matter who has them or how old you are. Cute is cute. It was just a fact to me. However, Damon couldn't help but chuckle softly before bringing one hand to my head and petting over my hair. You are so adorable, you know that? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm pretty sure so many girls have fan screened over that line. <laughs> huh? I blushed and looked down at the breakfast tray in front of us. I wasn't that cute. I felt myself rub the back of my neck in embarrassment. Sh shush! That made Damien laugh and kiss my cheek, forcing a gas to come out of me. I looked at Damien as he smiled a playful grin at me. It's true. We, <laughs> we both turned back to the TV and listened as James explained each toy in detail. I looked over to Damien to see him practically enthralled with the sight of his brother presenting his line. I gently nudged him, making him look back to me. Jeez, you're making me jealous. It's like James is enthralling you through the TV to buy his toys. I, of course, was joking. Damon was very happy for his brother, ex especially James. With a raised eyebrow, Damon gently removed the tray from our laps, placing it on his nightstand before crawling over my... What? <laughs> crawling over my body and making me lay back. I stared up at him in surprise as he gave me a seductive smirk. And what if I was enthralled by you? Okay. <laughs> uh, um... Um... I was speechless. Damien was full of surprises, even as a human. He didn't have the ability to read my mind, but he knew exactly what to say to make me squirm. How was he this good? He was human now. Damien chuckled before leaning down and kissing me, despite him not being a demon anymore. His kisses were always so magical. They each took my breath away each time his lips touched mine. I loved them. I wrapped my arms around him and deepened the kiss between us, forgetting about what was going on with the toy line. All I could think about was Damien's kiss. It was sweet and passionate, eager to make my body quiver underneath the one kissing me. However, the sound of our stomachs rumbling in sync forced us to break away from the kiss and look down at our, stum our, at our touching bellies. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should eat a bit before we continue this, huh? Good idea. <laughs> it seems like uh, this, the storyline are more intimate now. Maybe because it's finally like us and someone. As much as I wanted to keep making out with Damien, I knew my stomach would keep inter interrupting. And so would his, unless we ate. What did he make? We ate the delicious breakfast Damien made while watching the rest of the news. It was a nice segment and Matthew even appeared to help during James' presentation. Soon, we were flipping channels and watching random shows. The day passed by lazily. We barely left the bedroom because we just didn't want to do anything. It was rather relaxing and it's 
relaxing surprisingly. I knew we had to work on the wedding arrangement eventually, but today was not the day for that. We needed a day to ourselves to remind each other that we were going to be together for a very long time. It didn't, it didn't say very, but I, I just felt like saying it. It wasn't long before we found ourselves cuddling into each other's arms, taking a mid-afternoon nap. It was sweet. It was a sweet and peaceful drowsiness that lured both of us to close our eyes together. The darkness of my mind invited me to stay a while, and I gladly accepted its invitation. It felt nice, and I was enjoying the rest of er, th enjoying the rest it gave my body. However, I soon saw that I was not alone in the dark. Well, Damien slowly appeared before me and took my hand, kissing it gently. I felt myself shudder, but it wasn't his nude form or his kiss that surprised me. It was his eyes. My mind recognized those eyes, shivers shooting up my body from the sight. Instead of the loving and soft blue and purple his, and purple his eyes usually, usually were, they were a deep gold. They bore into my soul as Damien continued to keep his lips on my hand. D damien <laughs> What? As Damien smirked against my skin, my body began to feel hot, making me curl into my body. I tried to pull my hand away from him. But he held it firmly, keeping my lips against my skin over my knuckles. Uh, what? What's going on, yo? <laughs> I recognized the feeling he was enthralling me. Why was he doing this in my dream? Why was this happening? We continued to float in the darkness, his enthrallment invading my body as he held my hand to him still. I had to make him let go. I had to. But I don't understand. Stop! I finally was able to pull my hand away and I held it and I held it close to my chest. Damien stared in shock before something dark covered my eyes. Look out! Huh? huh? From out of nowhere, Diana's voice rang through the air, followed by the sounds of an intense battle. I looked around the darkness, unsure of what was going on, but something did not feel right. As I stood, I lo stood lost in the dark. I felt a heavy weight upon my back, forcing me down. It was as if a large boulder was pressing down on me, wanting to crush me beneath its weight. I fought against it, gritting my teeth as I struggled. A large grunt echoed over me, forcing me to look up and see Diana pushing at the boulder to get it off of me. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Why would Diana ever help me? Oh, hi, Diana. Nice look. <laughs> Quickly, we both forced it off my body, and soon I found myself looking into the great hall of the incubus. Or incubus. I forgot how to say the word. Say the word. So. I'll look it up in a second. <laughs> Old castle in the abyssal plains. The interior was as regal as I remembered, but behind it was a broken down entrance where I assumed the boulder had originated from. However, Diana and I were not alone. Is she all right? I wouldn't worry about her. You mistake. I stared as the demon lord and demon stood squared off with each other, and the demon lord's hand was a large chain, covered with dried blood, and my stomach churned at the sight. She will never leave this world alive as long as I live! Uh... <sighs> I looked at Damien, then back at the demon lord. What was going on? Why was Diana here? Why was I here? As the demon lord whipped his chain at Damien, Diana shot out a blast of purple energy, forcing it to ricochet away. Diana stepped in front of me and Damien, glaring hard at the demon lord and preparing another spell in her hands. Go with her! I'll deal with this once and for all. If I'm going to fall here, all of you will fall with me! Uh. The demon lord was a craze with the crazed grin, pointing his hand towards the ceiling, and let out lit out from me. Causing tremors and quakes to run through the room. Diana shot her hands upward and formed a purple barrier around her body. She winced with each stone that fell and slammed into the barrier. I. I can't hold it! <laughs> this castle will be your grave! My instinct was to reach out and hold on to Damien, but before I could, he grabbed my face and kissed me roughly. I stared at him. Wondering what he was doing, but I kissed him back and dug my fingers into his shoulders. Was this dream going to end with us dying? 
And my timer went off. We can save it, right? Yes. Thank God. Um. Ooh, this is kind of pretty. This is different. How many slots are allowed? Is it a hundred? Cause that'd be. Cr oh, it's more than a hundred. Wow, how many slots? Is it ever gonna end? Is it not gonna end? <laughs> I'm probably like the only person that's ever doing this. Like, how many slots are there? For no, not even. Okay, I don't even know how far it goes, but I'm gonna stop right there. Oh crap! Now I gotta go all the way back. Well, that was my fault. But um, the demo seems to be going great so far. We're actually finally getting into the part to learn about the war and why we're in the war, I believe. Which is cool, but we'll see that in the next episode. I really thought the demo would be like a little short demo, but it's not, which is awesome. Question Q4. I don't even know what that means, but... Th this game has a lot of high hopes for me. I'm probably gonna buy this game once it comes out on Steam, most likely. Cause I just, uh, I just love this game so much. I fell in love with it the first time I started playing it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this little short demo for now. I will be uploading more very soon once I record some more. But thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys in the next one.